Hey everyone, it's Sean from Tall Tree Audio. Today we're going to be looking at how to make your brass sound huge. So your orchestrations can go from this to this. All right, let's get started. We are going to create a short 30 second cue from scratch and I'll give you a couple of simple tips that will help you boost your orchestration to sound more real and more exciting. So first things first, let's use a piano to create a simple chord progression. Okay, I created a short chord progression, so let's listen back to see what we're working with. Great, let's go ahead and make that twice as long as well. We're gonna quantize it first and duplicate, and then we're gonna change some of the chords here, just some of the voicings. Alright, now we have a decent bass that we can use to start our brass chords. So let's jump into it. I'm going to go ahead and start with the low brass and work my way up. Let's go ahead and start with that. And all I'm doing is copying the bass notes from the piano part that we just played and moving them over to the low brass. So the first tip that I can give is it's important to be aware of the length of your sustained notes. Being a brass player myself, it's impossible to play as loud as you can for more than like a two second duration. It's just not feasible. So what I've done here is I have just been mindful of the length of my notes. None of them are too long. A common mistake that people make early on is that they just let their long notes be as long as they want. and that creates problems. Number one, it's not very realistic. And number two, it makes your composition less enjoyable because it lacks dynamic range. So that is my first tip I can give you. Let's listen back. Great. So we have our bass notes laid down. Let's go ahead and move up the line.
Okay, we've created a part for our trombones. Let's go ahead and listen back to that. You get the idea. I want to point out the modulation on these trombones. Look at how they are sweeping up and down. They're not just straight across. Uh, this is really important when creating realism and dynamic. When you're playing your horn part, the loudest part of the note is going to be the beginning, and then slowly it will lose volume from there. Okay, let's go ahead and move to our horns. All right, I wasn't loving the final few chords in the progression, so I went ahead and changed them up as I was creating this horn part. Let's go ahead and let's listen back. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and create a horn melody. I typically like using French horns for the melody and not the trumpets. Um, I prefer the warm color of the horns as opposed to the more bitter color of the trumpets. Let's go ahead and make that now. All right, now that we have our horn melody, let's go ahead and listen back to that. And I'm noticing at the end, I feel like these sustain notes are a little too long. So I'm going to see what I can do to shorten these up. Awesome, that's sounding a little bit better. Let's listen back. Great. Now for this horn part, I'm going to add a little extra reverb to it so it stands out a bit more. We're just going to do some processing there. Great, that's sounding good. Now let's keep going. Let's add some more layers to the horns.
Great, let's listen to that horn part so you can hear what's going on. I forgot that we changed the, the part at the end, so let's go ahead and fix the piano real quick. Great, that's been fixed. Let's go on to the next layer here. Alright, now that we have our chords and melody in place, it's time to start adding some more detail. This is, I feel like this is the place where inexperienced composers will stop and say, ah, it's good enough, and then they leave their brass out in the cold. So we're not going to do that today. The first thing we will do is add some short notes into the mix. I like to use the short marcato, mar <clears throat> excuse me, the short marcato articulation for this. Um, it turns out really well. All right, we've created some short notes into the mix, so let's go ahead and listen back to that. Awesome. It's starting to come together. The next thing we will do is add some more sub to the mix with Mega Brass. <laughs> All right, we added some of sub bass with the Mega Brass. Let's go ahead and listen back now. Awesome, it's sounding great. One last thing I'm going to do is add trumpets to the short, short notes right here. This library is called Angry Brass and it is free. You can go on to Performance Samples website and download it for free. It's great, I highly recommend it.
All right, we added some short notes to the just the mix with the trumpet. Let's listen back to see how that sounds now. That's sounding pretty good. Let's add some short strings, choir, and percussion to finish. Okay, I had a lot of fun filling out the rest of this piece, so let's give it a listen. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'd be happy to help. See you next time.